So there's this castle, just five kilometers from our house here in Telto. It's called Hackeberg. Actually, it's called Neue Hackeberg, or New Hackeberg, because it's just a young 110 years old or so. There was an old Hackeberg that dates back to the 1400s, but I think it burned down or something. Anyway, it's a cool location, sitting on top of a hill overlooking the canal, surrounded by some nice trails. Today I'm running there using a navigation feature on my Garmin Instinct. Let's go back to the beginning. Step one, find GPS coordinates. To do this, I hop on Google Maps, search for my destination, and right click to reveal the coordinates. Step two, input coordinates into the watch. Press the GPS button like you would for any other run. Press up to enter the options section and select coordinates. Quick aside, GPS coordinates can apparently have various formats. Google Maps uses decimal degrees, and I think the instincts default is degrees and decimal minutes. I made a separate video that shows how to change this format on your watch. I will link to it in the description and comments here. Step three, run. Just follow the compass arrow as best you can. Keep in mind, it simply points you to your destination. It has no idea how the available roads or trails lead you there, or if there are any barriers along the way like a river, private property, etc. One rather annoying thing about this feature is it gives you on course and off course warnings. And I'm almost never on course with this flight of the bird straight line. So every now and then it just randomly buzzes as I happen to overlap with it. Just one kilometer left to go and we'll be there. All right, course complete. Let's take a look around. Some final thoughts on this feature. It's not my preferred way of navigating using my Garmin. The route feature is much more precise and easy to follow. That said, using GPS coordinates is fun if you're looking for more of an adventure on your run and you're not too worried about getting lost and maybe having to double back and try a new route. Okay, that does it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.